Hello everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Paranjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about foods that can affect your fertility. Yes, we have already discussed a lot about fertility, infertility, male infertility and a little bit about female infertility as well. So today we are going to talk about what foods can actually alter or help you to conceive pregnancy. So what types of food you should eat more and what you should avoid if you're trying to get pregnant. So don't forget to watch other videos on this topic on my channel which are already there and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done it already. If you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos. We know that nutrition and a healthy body weight for both partners can have a significant impact on the ability to conceive a pregnancy. So for women, it is important for them to maintain a healthy weight and choose foods that will create a safe and supportive environment for the baby to stay for nine months and for men, it is important to maintain a healthy body weight because it's seen that obesity is associated with lower amount of testosterone levels and other hormones affecting their sperm counts and even sperm motility is seen to be decreased with overweight and obese men. When it comes to diet, a lots and lots of fruits and vegetables which contain vitamins and minerals and antioxidants can help them to create stronger sperms. So that's what is required. So obviously uh, weight is a crucial factor and you have to find your ideal weight. So in this case, 30% of infertility cases are due to weight problems, which can alter hormone levels. This can be both in male and females. And females, they can actually throw ovulation off schedule. And uh, you'll be surprised to know that in females who are overweight, as little as 5% of weight reduction can significantly improve the fertility. On the other hand, women who are underweight with a body mass of below 18.5 uh, may experience irregular menstrual cycles and stop ovulating altogether. So extreme weights, very high weight or very low weight, both are bad for women especially and even in males because males will then have lower testicular levels if they are very obese. So finding a healthy weight is important for both sexes. And those who are uh, regularly, those who regularly participate in high intensity exercises such as gymnastics and dancing or have an eating disorder or follow a very restricted diet often have uh, increased risk of uh, infertility. Avoid going on fat diets which can deplete your body of nutrients which are needed for pregnancy and find a healthy eating plan that works for you by talking to uh, your doctor. But the basic things are maintain a healthy weight and then the second thing is to choose iron rich food. A diet rich in iron that comes from vegetables and supplements may lower the risk of ovulatory infertility. Ovulatory infertility is one of the cause of infertility which affects like 25% of infertile couples. So uh, foods, vegetarian foods which are rich in iron are like eggs, beans, so foods Foods which are rich in iron are include eggs, beans, lentils, spinach, cereals which are fortified with iron, long grains, uh, enriched whole grains, vitamin. Add some, uh, you can add some vitamin C from citrus fruits, bell peppers and berries to your meals to enhance the iron absorption. So vitamin C enhances iron absorption. So whatever you're eating, eat some vitamin C as well. Then there is something called as a fertility diet which was proposed by some Harvard researcher in 2007. This study suggested that uh, women with ovulatory infertility who followed this eating plan had a 66% lower risk of ovulatory infertility and a 27% reduced risk of infertility from other causes than women who did not follow the diet at all or closely. So what is this fertility diet? Fertility diet is less trans fat and more monounsaturated fat from foods such as avocados and olive oils and other types of good oils. If you want to know about oils, you can go and check out my section on oils. You can check 
have the playlist on oils on my channel it gives a very comprehensive detailed description about cooking oils and what are the effects of cooking oils on your life and diet and health etc what should you choose and what not then first is less trans fats more unsaturated fats second is less animal proteins and more vegetable proteins yes this can also affect your fertility third point is more fiber high fiber diet low glycemic carbohydrate foods like whole grain foods you need to take and avoid sugars plain simple sugars then you have to take vegetarian sources of iron and decrease the meat sources vegetable sources of iron we've already discussed above and then you should take some multivitamins that's important and you have to take high fat dairy instead of low fat dairy yes you you have to take high fat dairy that means whole milk you can actually try and get uh, buffalo's milk fresh buffalo's milk if you can that's the best and in general eating more vegetables eating healthy mono and saturated fat instead of saturated and trans fat and making half of your grains whole and getting enough calcium rich foods including dairy will help you meet the nutritional needs and promote a healthy weight and help you get pregnant so that's mostly about the uh, fertility diet and talking about something about folic acid don't forget folic acid while it won't make you more fertile it is a crucial element that uh, if a woman is trying to conceive should obtain 400 micrograms per day of folic acid from a supplement or food from like dark leaf dark uh, leafy green vegetables or fortified grains so folic acid is needed to prevent neural tube defects bird defects and it is required for uh, brain development neural spinal cord development uh, in the 3 to 4 weeks after conception uh, it is required uh, for neural tube new for neural tube development into brain and spinal cord and that happens in the first 3 to 4 weeks after pregnancy and that that is the time when most most women don't even know that they are pregnant so so that's why if you are trying to get pregnant if you are trying to conceive you should start taking folic acid iron supplements and you should talk to your doctor for uh, any help which you need in understanding or conceiving a pregnancy for more information you can obviously uh, talk to a dietitian or you can go online on my channel and browse through the videos about information for any topic you want including infertility male female infertility causes preventions and other other factors so guys hope you enjoyed the video hope i'm helping you out here do help me out by sharing these videos and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon to get further future notifications of my videos and uh, thank you so much for watching i'm dr paramjit you're watching doctor education